Lionsgate and New Moon in Leo, energy clearing and activation. Welcome back to another video. This is Nanette with Radiant Reiki, and I'm here to help you heal your inner power. And thank you for joining me on this really special healing session with it calling in the energy of the Lionsgate portal and this new moon energy. And for those of you who aren't really familiar with what Lionsgate might be, I'm just going to give you some quick overview on what the Lionsgate means. And um, it's just a, a time of really amplified energy with Sirius, the star coming in closer to Earth and in alignment with Orion's belt. And the thing that makes it like super powerful too is the Egyptians actually, um, they felt this energy and they actually lined up the Great Pyramids so that the star system would like beam down and they believed that when they were aligned over the pyramid that the pyramids were kind of like amplifying that energy. So, and also um, specific during this time, like August 8th being 8-8, eight, eight, um, when everything's coming into alignment with the Egyptian pyramids, they also had to, where they had set the Great Sphinx, is in alignment with the Leo constellation during this time. So everything, you know, people talk about the Egyptians a lot and how they probably had some help and like how did they get everything aligned like that? Like how did they know? But yeah, so it's just a super powerful time with that. Um, I have my notes because there's a lot to cover for this. Uh, so the sun is in Leo right now. Um, so that's going to be a lot of like passion and heartfelt and just with it being the new moon and manifesting your new beginning you really want it to be like super heartfelt and emotions that like bring you happiness, love, joy. Um, and yeah, just some more, there's just so much. It's such, such an interesting time. Um, so the star system of Sirius, it holds 12 of the universal keys to enlightenment and ascension. So I know we're all kind of on this like path of healing and wanting to, have this enlightenment and just have a higher consciousness um, so this like Sirius uh, is just a really powerful system and then with Sirius coming into alignment with Orion's belt um, Orion is actually the soul star chakra of the whole uh, universe and we have a soul star chakra above our head so we, most people know about the seven main chakras, um, usually like starting at the crown at the top of the head. Well, the soul star chakra is above the head. And that's like our connection to um, just the seat of the soul. And just calling in that energy, I, I always use the soul star chakra myself, um, but most people don't know about it. So you're learning something new about the chakra system. There are chakras that are in our etheric body, like that aren't in our actual uh, physical body. So it's, it's kind of amazing. It's just like really calling in and channeling all this energy. And yeah, um, again, with it being 8-8, eight, eight, um, I am recording this video on 8-8 eight, eight to really get that amplified energy. And so eights in numerology um, kind of just like have that abundant energy and eights also represent infinity, like the infinity symbol. And it just shows that we're on this infinite journey and that we have like this infinite forever consciousness when like energy is never created or destroyed. So we just like transition into different forms. So it's just that so many different powerful ways of feeling this Lionsgate 8-8 eight, eight energy and with it falling with the new moon it's just such a powerful time 
to really um, clear out, just really get clear and let go of any limiting beliefs, anything that's holding you back, um, just really time to, like if you're wanting to transition into a new job, a new career, and you've been holding off, be feeling like you're not good enough or you don't know how and just feeling stuck, it's really time to let that go. Just clear it out. If you're in any type of toxic relationship where you're just not really being feeling like you're able to be your authentic self and like putting too much energy into the other person and not enough to you, it's time to really look at that and, and see if this is where you want to be. And it's, it's such a powerful time. Like there's so many changes and transformations for the collective energy of everyone. And people are awakening more and more to really fulfilling their purpose and passion and going through that painful transformation of letting go um, and being able to step fully into their power. So it's an amazing, amazing time. Yes, it is difficult. It's emotionally difficult at times. Um, we as humans, our ego always wants to keep us in that comfort. Uh, but it's really time to just like break down those walls and step out of the comfort zone and really go for what's going to make you truly happy and feel that love. So, yeah, <coughs> and there goes the throat chakra. Um, so for this healing session, um, we're going to be calling in the energy. It's just imagine like blue and white, silver and golden energy, like a waterfall just like cleansing over you to help you clear and release all that no longer serves you. And just let go and just imagine like seeing that like next version of you where you have everything that you're working towards. Um, you have that better love life and you have that job that you're happy to wake up and go to and just everything in alignment. So we're just going to be calling that to come forth. <sighs> yeah. So this, since there's so much energy for the healing and activation, um, the clearing, it's just going to be silent for, for today's session. Um, whatever you feel, whatever comes up is meant for you. You can do this again at any time. Um, just going to be calling in and amplifying this energy of 8-8 Lionsgate. So, and again, energy knows no time, space, or dimension. So this can go to your healing whenever you listen to it. And you can just go ahead and call on your guides, guardian angels, your light family, the Syrians, And just set the intention to allow this energy to flow through you, to clear what needs to be cleared, heal what needs to be healed, and just know that it's safe to let go of any energy that isn't of your highest good. As always, all my energy healings are done only for the highest good with light and love.
Just really feeling that energy. The blue, white, silver, and golden lights. Coming through your soul star chakra. Covering you like a waterfall of healing light. Allowing you to step into that next version of you. Living your passions. Feeling so much love for yourself. The energy around the heart space right now is just growing and growing. When you step into that fully authentic version of yourself, it just feels so good. And some people may fall away on this journey, but that's just clearing away that energy to allow the new soul tribe to come in that's going to be with you on your journey, lifting you up instead of tearing you down. completely love, honor, and accept myself just as I am. And as I step into the best version of me, really feeling the energy and put your hands over your heart space over your chest. Feel the tingling. Calling in that lion's gate energy, that Syrian energy. Feeling that fiery passion of Leo. The power of the new moon in your new beginning. Just remember any tingling, twitching, crying, burping, anything like that is just clearing out that energy, the old stuck stagnant energy, letting it go. And as you're coming back into your full awareness, and fully present in your body with this last wave of blue, white, silver, and golden energy clearing away all that no longer serves you. I just want to also share with you, um, I drew some cards this morning for this energy. Um, and I have an Isis oracle, so calling in that Egyptian energy, I wanted to draw a card from the Isis oracle. 
and I have stay true and be in your power Osiris and Isis Lord and Lady of divine authority so that's really like balance of the feminine and masculine energy as well and I'll just read a little bit of what it says in the book uh, it says you are a sovereign divine being with spiritual authority and freedom within you you do not need permission from anyone to be who you are and live your life as you choose this is your divine birthright guard it as the precious treasure that it is and remember that you are a divine being so that's a beautiful message um, and I took a card from two other decks as well um, which this one is interesting because more Egyptian energy came out from this deck and um, this deck's not all um, Egyptian energy uh, it's um, more like different ascended masters and so this is Horus the cosmic gateway your thoughts are magnetic and powerful miraculous changes are occurring so this is again very powerful for today's energy um, calling in the energy from the cosmic with the lion's gate and serious energy and then this card um, it says enter one step forward one step onward and around the little path there um, it has some messages too uh, you don't need to see the full path um, so just one step at a time take those baby steps and bring on this miraculous change and transformation and you just have to do it one step at a time you don't need to know the outcome um, you don't need to see the full path how things are going to work out how things are going to align for you you just have to have that vision and that passion in your heart of what you want and just take those steps just one step each day will lead you on to your full path and again it's we're on this journey and it, it's like this on this card here like spiraling around we're all on a journey of self-love we're all on a journey to reach just our full potential so just know again that just take one step at a time there's no rush don't compare yourself to where others are if you're in your 40s and you think that you're too old because someone else in their 20s is already doing better than what you're doing put all that aside don't think about anything like that um, it's never too late to start over it doesn't matter if you're in your 50s or 60s or 70s it is never too late to start over and really go for what your heart desires and be able to speak your authentic truth and don't worry about what friends or family say just be true to you so I know it can be tough and I'm here to support you on your journey with these video sessions and also as always you can work with me one-on-one -on, -one on a live video call um, you can find all that information below and I just wanted to send everyone so much love on their journey until next time much love